seem to catch a greenie here so i'm gonna have to let the boys the boys get on it forrest has been on it one of the heaviest bait towers i've ever seen him on in his life on the single sabi forrest is what are you gonna say it's just very petite out here Malik. it is very petite you got him on Miss, i just don't know what to tell you dude <laughs> I yo just, i just don't know what to tell you i couldn't get look at these petite greenies unreal I just, if Chief was here. Look at that thing. That's a Hope Sound Petite. Just don't know what to tell you. Got some beautiful greenies. Do get the one behind you? Today, boys, we're going to show you how to catch a kingfish. Not, 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 uh, just, just footage of me catching them. Just a beautiful greenie. Wow. Wow. Hashtag lost them all. You got them for us? They move. There's Max recreationing. Wow. Uh, professional bait man over here, what do you got? You broke out the camera, it really threw me off. I did break out the camera. I haven't seen Forrest catch a greenie on film. But John, on the other hand, they're flicking in front of the boat, Matt here. All right, John's gonna show you how to do it. John, teach him about the pitch here. All right, it's all about your natural form. It's big swing. Wow. Rip. Okay, your chip. I'm gonna have to turn the radio off here. I really can't deal with this. Oh, wow. They're slacking you off. They're swimming me up. No? Wow. Not a one. What, a what's one. the deal? Sometimes how a pitch goes. What is the deal? The pitch is not a guarantee, but it's, it's when I bring the camera out. Oh, right there. Wow. Wow, oh, right at the hizzard nizzle? Well, I was just a little bump troll for a greenie. You really can't complain. These about. are the most suspect greenies I've oh, ever caught in my life. I got them right here. I got them right here. Wow. Oh, look at them. What? what? Dude. What, what is, is happening? Very, what is the verdict, S? Yo! 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 That's such a petite. Woo. John, what are we gonna do with those greenies? I'm gonna go catch a nice king. John's gonna catch kingfish. I'm gonna catch kingfish. Forrest is gonna be jacking uh, around. Sea squirt's gonna catch a bonita. Hey, maybe. Forrest, we need to get you a moving bait hat. I don't know what the deal is with that Jeez, Florida man. hat. Get that nonsense hat. Oh my god, drop, drop, drop. Look at, look at the screen. Oh my god. Yo, what is the They're verdict? Rankets. What is oh, the verdict? Oh my. Oh. Wow. What? Right what? Dude, there. flicked right at the his oh house. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, gonna oh, freaking. Wow. Dude, dude. That mark was unreal, John. Uh, Yo. Oh, a nice horn belly. A nice really petite horn me. belly. Caught me off. It's really wet his whistle. I don't know about all that. Horace says he's got a big towel hook king here. I don't know how much I believe it. Here it is. Look at it. What? Dude. Yeah. Dang. That go for it. I'm gonna do I'm gonna the bring one. Bring right here. to you, bud. Yes, sir. That's a nice one. Dude! Yes, sir. That Hell yeah, Forrest. Yes, Kidding sir. me, boy? That's a giant First fish of the day for Forrest. That's a hundred bucks on the floor. All right, boys, we just pulled up. Mine the same way. We just pulled up to the spot. Already got two kingfish in the boat. John's John's hooked up on something very sus. We can't call it what it is. I just got cut off. Forrest just got a freaking log about 25, 25 pound kingfish, 30 pound kingfish here. Forrest, I really love to see that out of you. Crap. 
shark crap right there in pink bag. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Look at all the sharks. Right there. Uh, he was eight now. Well, that was a bit. That must have been a nice tank. Ron, you better hurry up, Horace. Horace is well, I'm still distracted. John's got a kingfish that just got shark. Oh my god. Look at this, dude. Oh, god. Watch out for it. It's going to make quick rain. You're going to hurry up. Hurry up. Get him. Get him. Is it a king or? Deep and eat. Very deep and eat. Yeah, let's move. Look at these sharks. Unbelievable. Wow, look at that thing. Palm Beach. Oh my god. 57 pound force. Yeah, they're, they're yelling. Well, I don't know if anyone's going to find a, a verdict that it's going to be forced. Wow. Yeah. He ate it very deep at that. He's about to get very sharp to us here. So all all John's doing, he's driving the boat is he's going up ahead of the wreck here, and we're drifting. We're drifting with the tide, which is pushing north. We got about I don't know two two and a half knots of tide, which is it's a pretty strong tide, but definitely not uh, deep drop tide. But it's kingfish tide. So. All we're doing is we're drifting with the tide over the wreck and then you'll pull those kingfish and bonita, cobia, amberjacks off the wreck and then kind of, I mean, the goal is to get the sharks off the wreck. Not the sharks? I mean, not the sharks. The goal is to get, sorry. The goal is to get the fish off the wreck and keep them with you at the boat. That's why you want to get as many baits in the water as one time and, and keep chum and get those kingfish around the boat. But the sharks are so bad, they ruined the bite so quick. You saw we caught those two right off the bat, had a couple more bites, and the sharks came up to the boat and you gotta reset because it just absolutely ruins the bite. The kingfish don't wanna bite. So we're just using these triple hooks. Look at this greenie. Triple seven O's with 50 pound pink Andy here. Look at that greenie. John's go. got a petite greenie. Look at that greenie. Gotta get go. I'm gonna set the GoPro up and we're about to get on them. I don't know what I have here. Okay. Did you see that thing? He swam at me 100 miles an hour. Watch out for it. Dude. Did you like that flip? Did you like that flip for us? Dude, that thing ate it and swam at me 100 miles an hour. I think they're acting very bad. They're acting really weird, dude. Another bait going out here. You really got to teach your bait this What's time. What's that other one? Look at the despair. I know. This is a very tough sight to me. Okay, so that first trip we caught three kingfish. Of course, it's jumbo. That one's going to count for two or three. And then we got Petit Benit from Young Canoes here. And one more kayak fish. My tip just broke on my rod, so very ragged. I'm have to use another rod. And if you guys are wondering how I make my triple hooks, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. It's very top secret esque. All right, so here's what you want. You want uh, two seven O's, regular seven O's, must adds. You're gonna put the tip of this hook in that one's eye, turn it backwards just like this. Oops. And you want a little bit of slack. You want a little bit of slack when you're trying to do this trick. So you don't want it too tight like that. You want a little bit, you don't want too much tension. Then you take anything heavy, a pair of pliers, put it on something where there's a gap in the middle and just whack it. Look just like that. For all you uh, commercial kingfishermen that I think you're hot stuff out there. So that crimp your hooks, okay? Doesn't come undone. You don't have to crimp a hook, You just like that. Then you do it one more time. Out here in the seven one's cut. Just like that, a little bit of slack. Boom. Now you got a beautiful triple hook rig near Smoke King. The second I put it in the The second rod, you yeah, second. I literally felt the butt of the rod tighten up. Oh, oh, double rod in here, boys. Uh oh. Now you got him. Dude, this is fighting like that log. I'm not even You guys kidding. both got fish on top. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna point any cobia names out here, but. 
I've already had it up to here. Take that, boys. We will take that. Up, 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 right over the rack. Ass. John, tell me that wasn't very settlement That was the most settlement ass. John's trying to figure out what settlement means, and he, and he just discovered it. I just, I just figured out I'm on the pilgrim stuff. Where the frick? <laughs> <laughs> Where do these deals? Gotta keep profanities off YouTube for the child. For the child. For the child mooses out here settlementing. Dude, these kingfish aren't fighting. So, and you guys can come out here and catch kingfish. All you have to do is you have to either be drifting over. I mean, you could be drifting over nothing, find kingfish. But typically, you want to be drifting over a reef, a reef line, or a wreck, and that could be anywhere from 40 to 200 feet of water. I mean, any any reef wreck structure, you drift over it with the with the throat hook triple triple hook bait. You're gonna catch kingfish. You can catch them otherwise, but it's the most effective way and easiest. Oh, dope, oh, John, you has got yurped, dude. It's every time John looks away from the rod holder. I watch you get friggin' yurped. Very No, it was for sure one of those raggedy king bites. I'm very slack-esque here in the settlements. Oh, just got three, three more kings, so. I'm gonna pop a new battery and we'll show you guys more of it. <laughs> <laughs> nice king. You know, really? Hit, hit, hit. Really? Hit. All races right here. <laughs> what is the. John, you laying up on me. Nice king. Nice. Look at your duck. Oh, you got for you, buddy. Thanks, John. You do so much around here. He's about to throw the hooks. John, what are you doing? Yeah, I see but... you staring at the gap, not moving. Yeah. <laughs> I literally <laughs> turn around and he's just eyeing the gap. I was making sure you had him off. I don't want to have to sit here. Get... What is your verdict? Bro, he literally went under the phone. What, what do you want me to do with that? I'm not getting him unless he's perfectly... Oh, he's not. There it is. Oh, thanks. That one's got to do it. Guess we got to hit another drift, mate. Watch out. Dude, you <laughs> Dude, how'd you get me? I was looking at you. <laughs> looking at me. That ain't a shark. He ran way too fast. No, don't do that. It's no, it's shark. an actual fish. Yeah. <laughs> wow, my dear oh, Alright. Very surface-esque out there. I'm not kidding. <laughs> John smoked me and I was tight. What is the verdict, dude? Bro, just dude, get a good bait out there. I guess I got a new bait now. I guess I got man fucking sound up. Dude, John literally hit my rod and I got eight. Wow. No, Boys, I'm not gonna lie, this is acting very slow. It is on the surf only, it's like a float. It it is on the, one of the more wow, man what is, what, what is the verdict? You got eight. Yeah, you got you, you got short Yeah. Not just when you put it in the rod hole. Oh, I did get, no, 
No, I didn't. Tail wrap. Tail wrap on me. What? Look at it. He killed him dead on top. I got a king fish. I got John. John, get the get the tail get the tail rope. Get the tail rope. Get the tail rope, John. Oh, it's a short guy. Yeah, I thought it was. Get a bait out. Screw you. You need a gaff, she's so squirt. You don't need a gaff for us? Now you're All right. soloing. Alright, that's a positive note for sea squirt on today. Oh, we got me. It's not a whole lot, boys, but it's just honest. It's all this. It's honest work out here. Take a jig. Yeah, because everybody wants to pick that up. Someone take that jig and reel this. Oh, I'm getting fish. I don't know. Taking it. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, come out, baby. John says he's got a big king here. Got a nice one. Maybe 10, maybe 15 pounds. And the settlements? And the settlements, got. Cut myself, boys. Raggedy. Oh, wow. wow. Smoke a G. G said it's a big sea turtle. Very prop diver S, which means he's probably over 10. No way the party. Wow, Forrest. That, yeah, that, 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 that cast was so tough to witness. That's a nice one. No. Hand him to me, boy. Sure, where I? Oh, yeah. We will take that yeah, a little bit of a thicker back. He does. You kidding me, Malos? Dude, that, he, he, are you kidding dude, me? Dude, you gave me a raggedy shot. Your shots have been. Don't make me take that thing for. Ten thousand. We'll take them, boys. We'll take them. We're gonna get back on. John's on his hair today. Another one. All the boys really are on their zeal. I've never seen you've never seen all three of us out here on it. Is that, that's a king right there. Correct. It is so hot, you have no idea. My eyes are sweating. So we're doing we've been on the same wreck the whole day so far. It's about 10 30 and we we got about 12, 13 kingfish. We'll drift over the wreck with the tide and then we'll catch one, two, three kingfish on that drift and then just set a redrift because you're sitting right on top of it. The tide was slower, we'd do better. Exactly. Drift. Yep. If we had less tide, you'd be able to stay on the spot a lot longer and, and catch more fish. But since we have about two knots of tide, it's pulling us off the spot. So John will just let out a nice recreational green here. Just let it organically soak. Just very organic let out. Let it just kind of very do its own straight thing. to the bottom. And then he's been putting in the rod holder and just whipping up the vertical. Where's the, the vert eye jig? A nice recreational vertical jig from Victor over there. And it really just brings those kingfish up. I can't call it. Very land shark esque vertical jig. Very. John looks like he's about to get organic with it. But I'm going to mount this bad boy back up and we'll catch more kings. So, what we like to do is, while we're drifting like this, you'll let your bait, you throw hook the bait like you saw, and then you let them swim out. Just like this when you reel some free school, right, Forrest? Yep. You let them swim out nice and organically until he, he starts getting nervous or your your line will just start peeling a free spool you click it over and set the hook but we throat hook them so they swim down Bliss. right here what what is the deal with these vertical jigs you know what I, i'm not a much i'm not really a complainer yes i am but we've literally lost so many hooks on the vertical they're all kingfish cutting the vertical jig hooks off why do they make them with a the rope oh god forest you missed him? There he is. Came back to the scraps. Came back for the John had to get him fired up on the on the jig here. Came back for the old settlement scrap. John, just tie a piece of 200 pound with the, that's with the hook, dude. You're just gonna keep losing them. You think 200? Yeah. 
heaviest you can get, right? John really had to jig him up there. John's been a real trooper today with this vertical jig. Can't lie. Petite. So it's like I said, you let that bait swim out there and you just get smoked. Need a gaff? I'm not doing much. I might as well help you out. He wasn't hooked. Actually, he was hooked. I gutted him. Look at that. Wow, very free gut esque here. That ain't a bad one. Take that one all day. Just gonna keep grinding out. This is the honest work out here, boys. Let's see if I have my hook in his mouth. This is the most honest thing in my life I've ever done. We had to make a minor adjustment to the vertical jig here and put our own 200 pound with a little uh, 7 out here. My, very minor adjustment ask. Okay. Wow, John got a king on the vertical. Just out here trying to save baits for the boys. Just out here trying to save baits. Just working for me. You know, this freaking nonsense. Oh. Wow. God. It's gotta be a cluster. <laughs> Very cluster esque. Of course, this bait was doing weird things out there. Doing the same thing again. It's no juice, man. Wow. There's really just it's just a one kingfish type of drift. Yeah. There you go, news. Every time I think about leaving, I'm like, I do, I know. I'm like, all right, we're gonna have to get the trick out of here. John's out here throwing out vertical jigs to find the verdict. Yeah, I'm out here handing out verdict. He really, he literally, that's all he's doing. Slime up. Nice slimer. Come on, get the gap. I got him. I ain't losing Jack. I ain't losing Jimmy Christmas. Okay, really? Do they have to fish this close to us? They pulled up the island. Here's the deal with YouTube. A lot of people come next to the boat. And if you're on the bait grind and you want to say what's up, it's okay, but if you guys are gonna come fish right next to your boat, it's kind of obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. I love I love my fans, but it's annoying for everyone else. What do you think about three of those in the boat today? Forrest got them on. Jig it back up, boys. That's the thing about these reef kings, they get greedy. They do, they get buried. They don't know where their next meal's coming from. The transient. And then when it will be their last meal. The transient king really takes some heat. I couldn't see his verdict. Jig him back up, boy. Have him pulled through this trip. Oh, oh, John, 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 John. Get him, boys. Get him, get him. Boys, put the list around. <laughs> what is happening? Boys, <laughs> 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 do not cut that one off on the top. I would never. Nice day, oh my gosh. That was. That's going right on YouTube. That was. That was the toughest thing I've watched and easily beat. I think we got a big agent here, boy. I almost lost my rod. Or it was actually John got the rod. I was trying to get it out. Literally almost flew in the water. I can't lie. You got that donkey whoop now. Nice agent. Nice. 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 Donkey. I'm gonna call myself old Reet Donkey. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We will 
He's a keeper though. Oh yeah. They gotta be 36 inches so commercially. To the four. Yeah, to the four. 12, 36, probably 38, but these things fight so hard and then they just give up. Really just like an aggregating gag. Just, just your organic, AJ. Yee! Come down to the bank, boys. Take so I'm look. doing boy. Alright boys. So we're fishing live bait, can't get a bite. John sends down the vertical jig. It is the most grouper s thing. Dude, you got a you got a 25 pound gag on there. You think so? I, I am a very strong believer that he's got some type of grouper. The way those head shakes are and the way he thumped it, that ain't no AJ. And if it is, I'm gonna be sorry for John. It'll be a very tough sightseeing. Just don't lose him. You got him, you got him whooped, bro. Just, just be nice with it. You got him, you got him whooped. King? Ain't no king. Looks like an African pompano? No, no, no. Giant AJ. Look at the AJ's following him. That's a shark following him. No. Oh, I thought that was a grouper, dude. Oh my god. We'll take that though. That's a that's a stud. Uh-huh. John? Very vert jig. Very smoke the vertical look at the jig. Fish though, look at that freaking sharks are remarking. Holy look, crap. Look Giants. Giant. Giant. Going in the boat. And we got a lot of fish in there, boys. More than your recreational average. Real big storm out here, boys. Very raggedy. Alright boys, it's a very gnarly storm and we're running right into it to get home here. So if you're watching this video. We didn't RIP. One of the most honest days of my life out here, boys. It is freaking ragged. In the settlements, cut. In the settlements. Very honest exciting. Day fish for the YouTube wow. here. Ow! All right, boys, here's what we ended up with. Not gonna hold the GoPro up too far. Whatever, you know what? I'm gonna send it. Ended up with about 20 kingfish, a couple AJs, but... It is, it's been raining all day. We're gonna try and clean up fish. And then I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, guys, we are back at the house now and it started pouring rain, so I couldn't really film an outro. And I wanted to show you guys the whole commercial process. I wanted to take the fish out to the slab and show you how we actually process them and sell them and make our money. But I will be showing that in a future video. Drop a comment if you guys want to see if, if this video gets 20,000 views, I'm gonna do that, okay? I'm gonna show you the entire process, what we get per pound, blah, 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 the entire commercial deal. Anyways, I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. I know I don't do too much information, informational talking in my video, like showing you guys what to do and, and how you can do it, but that's just because, I don't know. I, I kinda like just have the mindset that everybody already knows what they're doing, but I as I can tell in the comments, not a lot of people are very knowledgeable about fishing. So I want to get more involved with my viewers and, and show you guys what, what you can really do out here if you guys are so interested in fishing like I am. Like I said, use all the tips and tricks I showed you from this video and I promise you, you will catch kingfish, no doubt in my mind. And if you guys catch those kingfish you want to show me, send me pictures on Instagram. I'll have my Instagram popping up right here. My Instagram down below, adam.malusi. I love to talk, I love to be involved with you guys. Just hit me up on the Instagram. With that being said, I'm so glad you guys liked this video. Don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment, tell me what you thought. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are not already subscribed. I am posting awesome content by the end of this month and my rest, rest of my YouTube career. <laughs> but, you know me. Anyways, that being said, boys, till next video, move the weights out.